Busy week for you this week, Senator. Several different bills that you've had the chance to present in committee. Tell us about the first one, which deals with elections. Senate Bill 724 was heard in the Local Government and Elections Committee this week. This bill would create the Office of Election Crimes and Security within the Secretary of State's office. It would also create a direct line of communication between the office and Missourians through a voter fraud hotline, as well as reporting system meant to gather complaints to be investigated. This most certainly would help protect our elections and keep voter fraud from interfering with our state elections. I believe that's the first bill you pre-filed this year? Yes, that was the first bill that I pre-filed this year. Election integrity is very important in the state. Hopefully we can get my other bill, which would require hand counting of ballots heard in committee as well. Another issue that we've heard a lot over the last few years, and it's CRT and different things that are taught in schools. You have a bill, Senate Bill 918, that addresses this. Yes, I've been a big fan of Parents' Bill of Rights for our parents, when it, especially when it comes to educating their children. My Senate Bill 918 was heard by the Committee on Empowering Missouri Parents and Children this past week. The bill prevents school districts from teaching subjects such as critical race theory or the 1619 Project by reducing their funding if schools choose to teach these subjects. I believe subject material that teaches that the color of your skin matters more than the values in your heart is definitely incorrect and should not be taught to our children. For this reason, I feel it's a priority that this legislation move through the Senate as quickly as possible. This is a bill that I've filed in prior years, but unfortunately, it has yet to pass the body. Continuing to fight against the red flag laws. Yes, I'm a big supporter of protecting our Second Amendment rights. I believe that we inherently have our First Amendment right as well as our right to due process because we have our Second Amendment rights. My Senate Bill 998 was presented in the Committee on Transportation, Infrastructure, and Public Safety this week to create the Anti-Red Flag Gun Seizure Act. Senate Bill 998 would prevent the federal government from confiscating firearms or ammunition from law-abiding citizens. This bill would secure the Second Amendment rights of Missourians and keep them safe from government overreach.